Hello everyone, it is Tuesday today, which means it's time for another video. A few weeks ago, I made a video where I tried to get as many weapons from Fallout New Vegas into Fallout 4, check it out if you haven't already, and some of my favorite weapons in that video were in fact World War II weapons, because well, I just think they are awesome. Which made me wonder, how many World War II weapons can we get into Fallout 4? So last week, I have shown you the weapons that were created by the Allies, so now it's time to explore what the Axes have to offer. So let's roll the intro and get started. So today we are looking at World War II weapons, and not just any World War II weapons, today we are only looking at weapons that were created by none other than... And let's start with rifles. So first up we have the iconic Car 98K. Short for Carabiner 98 Kurt, the Car 98K is a bolt action rifle which quickly became the standard issue rifle for the German army right after it was introduced. Introducing the Mauser Carabiner 98 Kurt aka Car 98K made by Shaquille Wang. And one of the things I find interesting about this mod is that this weapon was actually ported over from another game called Day of Infamy, which is awesome that they allow us to just use their assets like that. But let's talk about the weapon. First of all, it looks awesome. The texture quality is amazing, it just feels right, like it's supposed to be in this game. But something else that is interesting about this mod is that it also comes with a couple of modifications. One of which is that you can choose what type of receiver you want. And I don't mean the usual stuff like letting you choose between a standard receiver and a powerful receiver and all that. I mean it also adds those options but it also comes with an extra option. Which is that you can choose whether you want to have an infantry receiver or a sniper receiver. Because if you have an infantry receiver you have a faster reload but you can't put a scope on it. But if you have a sniper receiver on the other hand, you can put a scope on it, but you will have a slower reload. So you will need to choose what kind of weapon you want this to be. Other than that, it's just a lot of fun to use, but then again, pretty much every weapon on this list is. But it's time to move on to the next one, the Gewehr 43. The Gewehr 43 is a semi-automatic rifle which was brought to life as a response to the Russian made SVT-40. Because well, at one point the Germans didn't do so well in Russia anymore, partially because of weapons like that. Introducing the Walter Gewehr 43 made by Subleader. Just like the Kar 98, this weapon was also ported over from Day of Infamy. This time there are no distinctive infantry or sniper receiver, but it does come with a scope, which is always nice. And yeah, what else can I say about it? It looks good, it plays nice, just all in all, a great weapon. Up next we have the FG42, a weapon designed specifically for the German paratroopers. Introducing the FG42, made by b -Wombs. You can choose if you want to have a semi-automatic receiver or fully automatic receiver, so I obviously chose for fully automatic. The fire rate is a bit lower than it should be, but at the same time you only have 20 bullets per mag, so you don't want to run out too quickly either. But the FG42 is not the only automatic rifle out there, we also got the iconic MP40, introducing the MP40 made by Trophy Hunter. Before I talk about the weapon itself, I should say that it also comes with a tactical version and a experimental version, which I couldn't care less about. We are here to see the classic MP40 and here it is. While the other weapons that I've shown you so far only had a few modifications, this one comes with a ton of modifications. You can choose between barrels, receivers, sides, you can even choose if you want to have a double magazine, which is quite strange. But besides that, just Look at it, it's amazing, the quality is really good and this is just 2k textures. On the mod page itself you can choose what grade of textures you want, which go all the way up to 8k, so if your PC can handle it, give it a go. Besides the MP40, we also have the STG44, short for Sturmgewehr 44, the STG44 is famous for being one of the very best automatic rifles of World War II. In fact it was so good that the AK-47 is actually based off its design. Introducing the BF-5 STG-44 made by Sistoff Lemon and Sam Fisher. Now Sam Fisher also has his own STG-44 mod but the handguard on that one it's just not historically accurate. So that's why I chose for this one and I am glad I did because the animations on this one are also a whole lot better. Other than that the quality is on point like always. 
So if you're looking for a new assault rifle to add to your collection, do give this one a go. The previous weapon was the Sturmgewehr 44, but now we have something that might sound similar, but is in fact very different. I'm of course talking about the Volkssturmgewehr, a true last ditch weapon used in the very end of the war. Introducing the Volkssturmgewehr made by the crazy gentleman. Funny enough, the basic foundation of this weapon is already in Fallout 4. It looks a bit different, but you might know it as the radium rifle. And by getting rid of all the electronic bits and pieces, we now have a Volkssturmgewehr. But weirdly enough, it doesn't look as good as the other weapons I have shown so far. Also, the sounds are a bit off. So, yeah, not so sure about this one. But hey, it's a German World War II weapon, so it makes the list. But that is it for the rifles, so let's move on to what might be the most fun category, machine guns. There are two main machine guns that were used in World War II by the Germans, the MG42 and MG34. Introducing the MG42 and MG34 mods made by War Daddy. And this weapon might be my favorite one from today's list. The damage is high, the fire rate is even higher. I once made an entire ammo factory just so I would have enough ammo to be able to keep using this gun. Now, it's not like there are two separate weapons. All you have to do is switch out the barrel to turn the one into the other, which you can do in the weapons workbench, which is fine. I like the MG42 just a bit more than the MG34, just because I think the barrel looks nicer, but they are both just great. And lastly, we've got some pistols, and for our first pistol, we have the Luger. Introducing the Luger, made by the Fallout London team. A nice and neat little gun, which also comes with a couple of modifications. Other than that, there is not much I can say about it. The quality is good, it's fun to use, and that's all that matters. And the last weapon we've got on our list today is the Mauser Pistol. Introducing the Mauser Pistol, made by Grinning Hurricane. And also the Chinese pistol animations by War Daddy. Because when you combine these two together, you will get the ultimate Mauser Pistol. Based on the Mauser C96 pistol, you might also know it as the Chinese pistol from previous Fallout games. It holds more ammo than a Luger, but it does have a similar fire rate. The textures, well... Let's be honest, aren't as good as some of the other ones, but you know, it's either the Luger or it's this one. And there we have it, a good collection of German World War II weapons. I hope you enjoyed, if you did then hit that like button, subscribe for more and a special thank you to my patrons. And if you also want to help out the channel, then you can by becoming a patron today. Thank you for watching, my name is Tuesday and I will see you next time.